Hey! Before I do anything else, I do want to make sure my face is completely clean. So I use up my favorite face wash, the Vegan Facial Wash Desert Essence. That is the best face wash ever, so make sure you go and get it. I do do a review on this, so it will be up at the top. So you will be able to click it really quickly and check that video out too. The next thing I do, if I wash my face first thing in the morning... Um, I don't necessarily wash my face again. I will just use alcohol in a cotton swab and just get the leftover residue or oil that had developed on my face as my day continue because of course I wake up and wash my face first thing in the morning and I just don't want to dry my face out so I'm not going to wash my face again. I'm just going to use alcohol if I don't feel like washing my face again. Excuse me, alcohol is so strong, so be careful, guys, because the alcohol, I don't know, the air of it <laughs> was getting in my eye, if that even makes sense. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up and show you guys that I've been through my day for about four hours, and this is the residue that developed on my face, just being outside, because outside is just dirty. So now that you have seen the residue that outside created on my face, I am going to go ahead and give my face a little moisture, put some oil on there. Normally I put coconut oil, vitamin E oil, or olive oil. As you can see, the olive oil is the first one I seen first. So I just went ahead and put that on my face. I don't really put it all over on my face. I put it on the mostly dry parts of my face, my chin, underneath my nose, and underneath my eyelids. It sounds like someone's vacuuming. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but anywho, going further into this video, I am going to go ahead and make the facial. It looks like my avocado, av not avocado, my aloe vera plant is getting old. So I'm going to throw that part away and use the middle part of it. As you can see, this is still fine. I just wanted to use it really quickly before it went completely bad. Make sure you do not use the part that is turning brown. Use the clear part because that is more effective for you. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that open really quickly and take as much of the aloe vera plant out, the juice out, and then finish up. up my aloe vera plant i did cut a little of my aloe vera plant just for one of my other facials just to be a supplement for something that i am not i do not have in my refrigerator now what i'm gonna do is roll my lemon a little bit just to develop the juice in it if you are not sure what i am doing this is a cool fun hack to excuse me to get the lemon juice out of your lemon without working so hard roll it before you cut it and the juice is going to come squirting right out as you can see, this is the this is what you have to do to get the most lemon juice as possible. Roll it before you cut it and the juice will come flaring out. Before you do anything like a facial, you do want to make sure your face is completely clean. So I just want to show you my face wash again because this is the best face wash in the world. Desert Essings, if you want to um, sponsor me, you can go ahead and do so. I would love that because I love your face wash so much. 
but yeah guys um we're gonna go ahead and get into it my face is clean and i am gonna go ahead and put on this aloe vera and lemon juice mask i absolutely love it so 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 much this was probably one of my favorites besides the strawberry i mean i'm sorry not the strawberry but the cherry and egg one that i'm gonna do next or after that one but yeah guys you guys know aloe vera is amazing for the skin the hair just every single thing as well as lemon so if you guys want to try this out go ahead and do it because it's perfect it gives you some healthy skin it gives you the shine that you need and it does everything that you need for your blackheads and stuff like that putting this on my face i'm gonna go ahead and let it rest for a second i'm gonna leave it on my face for about 10 minutes and then come back and rinse it off you can already see the shine forming on my face oh my goodness i love this face wash so much it doesn't burn it doesn't leave your face red it doesn't do anything but the job okay so i'll be right back in 10 minutes guys and show you guys the next one so I low-key realized that I didn't record myself after I rinsed the product off of my face. I truly apologize for that. I am crazy. But here is the next one. I have the rest of my aloe vera plant in the bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and add some raw honey. Um, I put my honey in the refrigerator because it was like melting down the way that I didn't like when I had it in the cabinet. So it is kind of hard. I personally don't think it makes a difference when you put it in the refrigerator or in the cabinet. Honey is honey and I don't think it makes a difference. But if it does, someone please let me know. Put it in the comments so I will never do it again. Following the honey, I am going to go ahead and get me some um, oats. This is what I use to exfoliate my skin. Some oats. Yes, when I say oats, like oats for oatmeal. I'm going to go ahead and put about three, two to three spoons inside of the bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw this entire bowl in the blender just to soften up the the honey a little bit but normally with this one i normally use avocado honey and oats but i don't have avocado today so i just went ahead and used the rest of the aloe vera plant so i don't waste it so i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the blender like i said this is for exfoliating the face and giving it the shine as for the honey but the oats is, is definitely supposed to exfoliate okay so let's go ahead and put this on our face and check it out Alright guys, so I do want you guys to be aware that this is pretty messy and it's very drippy. So all of these are very drippy, so I want to make sure you guys know to make sure you have either a towel on the floor or hold the bowl really close up to your face so you're not dropping the oatmeal and the aloe vera all over the place because as you can see, it is dripping down my face. So just be careful. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up really quickly and show you guys the finishing product.
finishing up this oatmeal facial that initially is supposed to be avocado and I'm realizing that once again I did not record the outcome video of what it looks like when I take the mask off I truly apologize but no worries my face did not break out I didn't turn red or any of that unnecessary stuff okay moving on to the next one I have one egg I have cherry and I'm gonna use some lemon juice leftover lemon juice and I'm gonna combine all that together in the blender what's supposed to happen to your face is it's supposed to get really tough it's supposed to bring your pores out get all your blackheads out of there the egg is supposed to do the most job the cherries really are just for honestly I don't think the cherry does nothing but give your face a rosy smelly look cherry smelt look so with that being said you guys are happy to do it but the most important thing about the egg is you're only going to use the egg white you're not going to use the orange portion of the egg so you don't need to crack the egg all the way just crack it a little bit so the egg white can come out of it and then throw the orange outside inside part away and then go ahead and add as many cherries as you like and add your lemon juice as the final touch it looks like i dropped the eggshell in the facial so be careful guys be careful I did go ahead and put that all in the blender so it can be blended up. I am now back in the bathroom. I'm about to show you what it looks like on my face. My face here is the the how it looks when I took the oatmeal facial off of my face. You see how clear and light and glowy it is. That is the final outcome of what it would look like if you put the honey and the oats on your face. Now following that, I'm going to go ahead and put on the cherry egg. This is going to make your face really stiff and really tough like a clay mask, which is something that I love. Be sure to make sure you have a towel or a bowl underneath you because it is very drip drippy. And I'm going to go ahead and finish adding this on to my face and show you guys the final outcome if I recorded it. <laughs> face is drippy whoosh now my face is completely sand off and this is now what it looks like you do have a small soft tint to it soft pink tint to it but after that my face feels so wonderful it's so bright it's so glowy ah oh, i just love all three of these facials i guarantee you guys are gonna love them too if you guys do it correctly be sure you to use a blender if you need to don't sit there and try to stir everything up quickly work smarter not harder okay after that i'm gonna go ahead and put coconut oil on my face just so my face don't dry out because it's good for doing that coconut oil all over my face and then afterwards i am going to spray some final face hydrosol mist on it and call it a day okay
all right guys as you can see those are my three top favorite facials i do have one another top favorite facial that i mentioned the avocado one but i didn't have any avocados here today so i was like forget it but i'm gonna still do the facials and i truly hope that you guys try this out let me know in the comments below if you guys will try this out and give this video a big thumbs up and i hope this helps you guys because girls need facials right guys need facials too so if you're a guy watching this video be sure to try it because you can help your face glow too okay and of course guys as you know it i'm tara j and i'm out peace